What up, y'all? This is your boy, Westside Willie, pilot of the Bebop, coming in. I'm just letting y'all know that we will be departing from Detroit very shortly. So everybody get in their seats, sit down, relax, and if there's any thickums on this flight, <laughs> you're invited to the uh, cockpit. Bebop, got it on lock. Check your wristwatch. Tick-tock, time for lift off. You hear the stars calling. Baby, come and hold me tight. Cause the sky's falling in deep space, writing these jams. All I need is joy. Don't look back. It's a price on your head. And they'll double that pay If you alive, not dead These cats is new to these scenes And new to these walls And when the shots start firing They start to look for the duck Baby, don't get too close I'm a cowboy Wake up and see that I'm gone I'm with the stars gone One thing I can say about life Is that it's not born And one thing I can say about us We'll never stop hunting I'm with my day ones Double shot, messing with my third eye Brody wanna tag along Well, we need a fourth mic I plead the fifth Fair start catching up in space so long I'm getting used to us suiting up with my day ones Double shot, messing with my third eye Brody wanna tag along Well, we need a fourth mic I plead the fifth If the fair start catching up in space so long I'm getting used to us suiting up How about blood? And we're barely related We just have the same mother Anyway, mic check One, what? two, one, two B-Boy's back Welcome back to the Bebop Podcast Where we talk about movies Anime, comic books, all types of fly shit. Sometimes hot dogs, sometimes pizza, occasionally other things that don't have to do with the things that we said we were going to talk about. But that's the fly shit portion. I'm pretty sure. Mm-hmm. ADHD, also something Yo, like that. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Welcome back Thank to you. the Bebop Boy, my lads, my lads. Hello. How are we doing today? Good. We Great. wonderful. We well, before, I opened uh, it, so I made sure I brought my energy to the table. I see. Yeah. That was very. Good. I'm trying Thank to you. give it back. Thank you. Hey, I feel it. I'm right good. here in my enlarged heart. Mm. I feel it somewhere else, but I'm not going to say, but I feel it. (laughs) Okay. All right. I feel it. (laughs) I'm with it. It's up to interpretation. Okay. That's art. So like the ending of Cowboy Bebop. Well, no, no, that's pretty no. cut and dry. That was our interpretation. No, it was up for interpretation. Nice, no, Somebody in the Discord. No, no, hold on the career. Somebody in my Discord had to say like, yo. Nigga, it's not up for that nigga dead. He no, it's not. No, no. It's, 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 it's literally a fact that it's the the Arthur said it's up to interpretation. Okay. Exactly. Thank so you. my interpretation is that he's dead. Okay. So then he's okay. dead on you. He's dead for so, you. Yeah. So yeah. He's alive. Where's he thriving? At? Where's he's, he, he uh, thriving? I don't give a fuck what he's doing. The story is the story is better when he dies though. Oh, what? If so he dies, I am like legend a, bullshit. It's a whole complete fucking circle. God damn, control your kids. It's a whole fucking circle, bro. <laughs> yeah, dog. <laughs> but oh shit. Anyway, how's everybody doing? How was everybody's good. week? Again, good, great good, again. Good, good, good. Yeah, everybody. It's a good week. Delicious. Yep. Yeah, good week. Same old, Yo, same old. But it feel like we was well last. We were here last. I know. Yeah, I we know. were here. We know. I that wasn't. Week, that, well, yeah, yeah, Antonio wasn't. Antonio. Antonio's on this app with us. Yeah, oh, yeah. welcome as well. Welcome. I know. To your first one. Back, back, back. Now back, that you're back, on. Man. Yeah, that's what Thank I like you to hear. for blessing us with your un, un uh what is it? The un, 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 un ending. Unending now. Oh, I was about to say oh. un, uh, unadulterated. I was going to say, say unapologetic. I was going to say we ultra instinct at first. I take that. Yeah. So, yeah. I didn't want to be um problematic, as they would say. As people would say, as, as, <laughs> as the kids just as don't the kids check say. Twitter. Exactly. Somebody yeah. on TikTok make a fucking what's the called about me? Oh, uh, we should do a segment where it's like we find everybody's worst like tweet nope. or Instagram, nope. go through all of them. Bro. Nope. Yeah. So nope. I, I, I'm so, deleting my Twitter. I'm deleting my Twitter. I got a bookmark. I've done a great job. <laughs> I got mine bookmark. Making my social media presence clean. Yeah. But yeah. you dig into my shit like maybe ten years ago. Oh Ooh. yeah. Nobody because we didn't think about it ten years ago. I was talking. It wasn't a thought. I was talking my Brooklyn. mad shit. You pissed me off. I put your shit on blast. I didn't. And I didn't give a fuck. Even animosity shit. didn't stop I me. I was mad. too scared. You were spelling R with R. Spelling R like that. Huh? R with R. <laughs> I know what he's saying. And no, no, you just say no. Okay. Just say well, no. Yeah. I know what he's talking we're, about. I'm not falling bit, for We're it. a little bit older than Matt. Yeah. A little oh, bit. Are we? A little bit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. A bit. Matt's, uh, Matt's a youngin. I'm pretty young. Mm. How old yeah. are you? Matt, At you least. Yeah. yeah if, if you feel comfortable. If you feel comfortable. Okay. Yeah. yeah. If you feel comfortable. I'm 16. Cut, Cut, the right. <laughs> Cut the cameras. We gotta go. <laughs> Cut the cameras. No. Nah, I'm, t- I'm 20. <laughs> Never, Never Wait, mind. what? Little. Never mind. All right. Never mind. 25. I'm 25. Oh. Yeah. She's a baby. I am. Yep. Thank you. 
Yes. Also, he lived right around the block from you too. Yeah. So really? Like, yeah. I stayed on Beachwood and something that other street. Barry. 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 Okay. Yeah. Oh, like Penn and you, uh, did you? Okay. Yeah, I don't know if you yeah. ever met Dominic, my brother. Uh, yeah. What the fuck? Yeah, that's my brother. <laughs> that's my baby brother. Biden all that on fuck camera. Fuck crazy, right? Fucking yeah. crazy, right? We don't yeah, really look alike. Me. So also, like you, it's not like we'll trigger. You like a, I honestly can't remember memory. what he, I can't remember. In the eyes, you do. Like, if yeah, I look like what he in looked, the eyes, yeah. Or if I saw, what but like he's like. light skinned and shorter, and I feel like if I saw him, maybe you'll see him. You be like, okay, name sounds familiar. I can't think face though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I think he's been over. Your house before, yeah, because he knew all about when I did the first episode. Mm-hmm. He was like, "Yeah, you know X Y Z." Da, 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 da. Oh, and, and I told him I was gonna come here full, start doing this full time. He was like, "Oh yeah, they social media." He like, so he's wait, what the fuck? He's a fan yeah. of you guys. Beautiful. Yeah. Oh, I've seen this We know I, people. Shout out so. to Dominic. I look, yeah, yeah, thank shout you, out Dominic. Nick. I <laughs> well, what's the child? Uh, cooking? Oh yeah, he so he cooks. What? Yeah, he cooks. He's uh, uh starting. Uh, uh, he's a. We're plugging him in right now. Yeah, we're plugging him right now. Uh, so yeah, my brother does catering and is gonna try to do some. You know, oh, he okay. he's done some big events. So he's done like cast text reunions and stuff oh, like wow. that, different parties and stuff. Yeah, and so he mm. does his social media thing as well. Uh, I, it's called Bretta's Bistro. Mm. I love a good bistro. Yeah, I love a bistro. And you, if any restaurant with their bistros in it, mm-hmm. first off, it's already got three at the least. Money marks on <laughs> Apple Maps. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> already out of four, it's three out of. Yeah. I never noticed yeah. that. I always look because if I'm going out, I'm yeah. like, hold yeah. on, yeah. bistro. <laughs> okay, so yeah, it's called it's British Bistro. He does pop ups, caterings. He does grill stuff. He's and he's very good because he learns from my mom. Our mom. Mm-hmm. And you said he catered that. cash tech. He catered cash tech. They needed that shit. What is that? Yo, thank you, <laughs> thank you, bro. Cash tech be on some shit sometimes. I'm sorry. Let me not discount. I don't know if they feed their kids. Fuck our shit. Up. All right, <laughs> <laughs> don't do that. Oscars, Oscars. We, we go go to Oscars. Oh, yeah, the Oscars don't, happen. Yeah, we don't have anybody to keep us on track. Yeah, the, oh, the Oscars no. happen. <laughs> Off the rails. I'll try. I'll try. Okay, I'll try. Okay. okay. Yeah. Yeah. So I'll that's, try. that's what we got. Why we got Matt here? Yeah. Matt and Wes are gonna keep us Matt on track. Yeah. Okay. I Sorry, think Wes is just entertained by the shit yeah, that's going on. I'm just, see, I'm just over there looking at that. That's what I'm saying. Raiden, when he sat down, that's I was like, all right, wait a minute. He was like chilling. He was like, yeah, what? All right, let's do these Oscar nominations. They dropped the Oscar nominations yesterday, early morning. 2023 uh, or 2024? Yo, absolute bullshit. Not all bull. Not all bullshit. Not, uh, I didn't. I didn't a lot of bullshit. At, I didn't look into them. Uh, so I want you I guys got, to explain you want, them, guys. I got them all right here. Okay, yeah. I want I you to explain go them. Go I got them all in my my photos. So we'll go one by one. Yeah. Okay. One. Okay. Start with we'll, the big one first. Best picture. Okay. Best. And I have no quarrels with best picture. Go ahead. I have no quarrels. We've got American Fiction, mm-hmm. Anatomy of a Fall, mm-hmm. Barbie. Wait, 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 wait. What was the second one? Anatomy of a Fall. Anatomy of a Fall? Oh, my bad. I said it wrong a little bit. No, I didn't know. I didn't know. <laughs> I don't know the movie. Anatomy. 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 of a Fall. Anatomy. I don't know Anatomy. English Anatomy. well. It's right. okay. And it's the only language Anatomy. I know. Anatomy. Hey, yo. We, East Detroit going to pay for their sins, but it's okay. Go ahead. I never I, even graduated. I, yeah. I, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> if they should have known. If they, they would have paid a little bit more attention. They didn't maybe, pay attention to no baby. Wait, 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 we gotta get through the list. Okay, bye-bye. All right, go, go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead. Uh, Barbie. Barbie. Uh the holdovers, killers of the flower moon. Mm. Uh we know how Barbie he feels. got best picture? <laughs> he, Barbie's up for best picture. Yeah. What? Uh, Maestro, Oppenheimer, Past Lives, Poor Things, and the Zone of Interest. Okay. Uh, that's like 14 fucking movies. That's like a lot for best say, picture. Is that a lot? That's a lot. <laughs> that's a lot. That's yeah. usually how it is. That's no, it, usually how it is. is yeah. It? yeah. The best picture? Yeah. I mm-hmm. thought it usually be like down to six. So what are you guys' no. top three that you think will win? Uh, well, that I haven't I'd... seen all these yet, but... See, that's the thing. Like, I can't I can't say. I'm a, well, I am only seen, like, probably four of those. Mm. It's Oppenheimer. Cause, See, that's what I'm... Because, spoiler gonna alert, say. Oppenheimer swept. The Oppenheimer and yeah. Killers of the uh, uh, Flower, Flower Moon, Moon. Moon. Yeah. swept. What, spoiler alert, guys. Are you... Are, uh, well, you want... Me to pick my best picture, or do you, think, you think the one that you top, He's saying your top three, who you think yeah. is gonna be like your top three. Oh, mine, I want, I want, uh, uh, Oppenheimer, Killers of the Flower Moon, and uh, um, Barbie, of I course. I really want Barbie, but, and then which but one do you I think, think it's gonna win. I think it's gonna be Oppenheimer, yeah. 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 I think we can Christopher all, Nolan, I think we all know honestly, that. strongly when agree on that. The Oscars love. Christopher, Christopher Nolan. Nolan. They, they love that. Now that's why he's the number one bro. best director. What has he, has he won any Oscar? He uh, himself? He, no, I don't I, think so. No, he said he's no him. I think he won for uh. Because I think he said he wants no to win best director. No so inception be for best picture. What's his name? Christopher, uh, Christopher Nolan. Nolan. I'm pretty sure Christopher Nolan got an Oscar. We gonna fact check that. 
No, no, I don't that think that did. Well, no, he won actor. Heath Ledger won best supporting best actor. actor. Yeah. Gotcha. It's not gotcha. gonna go to Chris. Okay, Chris. I get what you're saying. Yeah. I get what you're saying. Chris, Chris, yo, I yep. think he went up there. To, no, oh, he's no. never won. Yeah, wow. Because he he yeah. he had said in an interview like if he wins best director, that's gonna be like a dream come true for him. Okay, yeah. So, so, honest, so Nolan does, is regarded as a big canvas. Uh, our tour of his era, he has never won an Academy Award. Fucking loser. There's no I way mean, that he's win like, He's had to be like uh, hella Oscar nominated, though. Oh, right? yeah. Hell like, yeah. He probably, um, got, I mean, he probably, yeah. He probably got one of the most as a uh, director. Okay. Yeah. yeah one of the I most. Think, I think like, no the shade. Most. I said one of the most. He has the most. No, like he, Mark Mark Scorsese, he has like, the most. Yeah. Yeah. Like, no he's shade like Tom to Christopher Brady. Nolan. But like, I think his film, he makes films to be glorified. Oh, one hundred percent. You know what I'm saying? So, mm. like, I, yeah, I'm, he goes for a cinematic. If I'm not experience. mistaken, every one of his films have been nominated for something. For something, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. just yeah. now, not had a flop. Yeah, but I think we're all in agreement that this year, this is his year. This is yeah. his well, because honestly, like, yeah, that was... what, what you saying with that is like, yeah. His movies are shot well. Sometimes the acting is like it can take a little backseat. But that's why he with chooses. This one, it he does chooses specifically his actors and everything. Yeah, like, yeah. he's uh, he's one of those like big directors mm-hmm. that choose that it's it's not art of a substance he wants the notoriety yeah. he wants the effects he wants he wants everything to be perfect to be recognized properly you know what i'm saying because yeah, like right. you we can you can have popcorn films you know what i'm saying like we'll y'all use the marvel movies as an example perfect you know we'll what you talking about willis <laughs> no go ahead <laughs> you'll, you'll use the marvel movies I'll as an example marvel how, to the day I don't. how you know the story could be good yeah mm-hmm. At cast could be great, yeah, but sometimes effects is lacking. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you know what I'm saying. Right. Don't get me started. <laughs> or, or you look at, window. or you look at uh, <laughs> sometimes. Uh, so I'm thinking of the Orlando Thunder, or even Guardians. Um, you know what I'm saying, Black or Widow. Black Widow. You know those. Yeah, where sometimes something lacks, right? Yeah. Or you could look at the Black Panther route, where great cast, great story, mm. and then again effects. You know, yep, or yeah, 100%. look at um, I had one that was a good one too. I will say uh-huh. Doctor Strange, the first Doctor Strange, like the effects were really good. I just didn't think that story the story was, was really the story kind of. I did not like it. Was yeah, it's yeah. Not yeah, hitting all three marks. It's there. Not hitting all so, yeah. three marks. So, yeah. so uh, Christopher Nolan is one of the one of those directors that's like, hey, he go hit all three. Mm-hmm. Yeah. On well, I feel like this, but this year, that's what he this wants. year, that's what he wants. Is like his magnum. That, like that this movie would be his like magnum opus. Yeah, and we wouldn't have this movie without Robert Pattinson. Yeah. Yeah, he said he was inspired after he gave him a book about uh, Oppenheimer, Oppenheimer speeches for in the I movie uh, Tenet. Yeah, we're on the set of movie Tenet. Yeah, which so we crazy. not go glorify war for the record. No, Lord, no. What you say? Ooh, no, 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 no. <laughs> no anyway, no. yeah, let's go to the next. What's the next be my podcast? Uh, so that does all... not in any way glorify any war. We're just talking about the Oppenheimer movie, which was about fantastic. War. Fantastic movie. It's about they didn't, what? at least they didn't even they didn't even show the war. It's about how people. evil yeah. America is. They didn't exactly. even show it. America. Fuck, Fuck yeah. yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah. They were like, yo, yeah. we gonna drop it twice. We gonna bomb that shit <laughs> and then make a movie about how we did that shit. And then show it. <laughs> and then show it in your country. <laughs> like that's <laughs> fucking crazy. <laughs> crazy well, they just yeah. decided to show it. They yeah, because they want to cross that billion dollar. They're like, yo, we want to. Well, hit I that think I, honestly, I think that was up to Japan too. Because if they don't want it to be seen in their country, they're not gonna have it be seen. Of course, in their they're country. not gonna be. Yeah, but, but like, I mean, it's are not they gonna be like the one. So, like, if you watch Oppenheimer, it's not like a spit on Japan's face or anything like that. Like it happened. It was a bomb. We can't. It happened. I think the yeah, movie kind of did not glorify that yeah, at all. It, no, no. it showed the, the process of what it was, effects. how it was made, but also showed you how evil the American government, the government fucking. Oh yeah, yeah. one hundred percent. And yes. I think that's more so what the, the point one of it line was. Is, uh, yeah. and that's why I think it they didn't show the after effect in Japan. Of yeah, I would say it's a critique of that. of how greed can corrupt America yeah. and how they don't care. Something. The one line by one of the. Um, politicians when they are in the room deciding where to drop the bomb. Oh God! They drop the line to say oh, yeah. like, "Oh, not not that one I place because I vacation there." That yeah. was ad lib. Like yeah. he just said that like, but it's free. But the and thing it, is, it, like, it seems like something so they what, would fucking say. Exactly. They screwed. told them. They That's they were true. telling them was, get into the mindset of a politician at the topest level that's just worrying that about a money crazy line yeah exactly right that when that happened, crazy nobody line. in the movie reacted, but yeah. you felt the whole theater go. What the yeah, fuck? like bro, what? like oh no, we'll skip that over. <laughs> yeah. I want to still visit. Like, I did, right? I did like the fact that uh, <laughs> the uh, twenty twenty three movies did show that show the true face of America. Yeah, because oh, of the yeah. Flower Moon, even with did Barbie. a lot of that shit. Too. Even Kills with Flower Moon, yeah, I mean that shit well, was crazy. Well, yeah. that's even the thing Barbie. about Hollywood Absolutely. that people talk yeah. about sometimes, like you know that. Hollywood in particular is very liberal, maybe yeah. even leftist. Oh, 100%. You know what I'm saying? So like, and they are, these are all artists. 
<laughs> so they go talk their shit. Yeah. yeah. You know, the government won't do nothing. You know, and we'll you saw that a lot like back in the day. You know, what I'm saying if you study like film and art, like there was a lot of like propaganda gets spilled. So, so sometimes uh, the stuff gets pushed out in yeah. other ways. Sometimes you know you see it in music. You know you see it in yeah you do. You know you'll see it in movies. You'll see it in like protests and stuff like that. So like even TV got, shows, TV shows, yeah, even TV Mark- shows. But you got to get that. You got to get that message out there in any way possible. Yeah. Because even as a person who reads comic books, like, I always tell people one of my favorite fucking comic books is Wild as Fuck. That's the name of the comic? No. It's uh, it's Lois Lane. It's when they turn her black so she can go interview people Mm -hmm. in a black community. I remember that. And she got hold. (laughs) But the thing was like, yeah. So at the beginning, she gets hold. And mind you, they it came out in like the 60s or 70s it was tone deaf at the time yeah but they like the the meaning was behind like they yeah. wanted to show you something and they wanted to like have white readers like be like yo yeah look at how it is yeah and uh but the way they like first of all why does superman have a device that can change the race of a person to black yeah. <laughs> and he's from krypton <laughs> where race isn't really like a fucking a structure thing. yeah <laughs> and then like also, well once like, you get to it, america bro yeah. they called the area little africa Ah, that also oh, is a problem. Man. And then, yeah. like at the end, she's like, "If I stayed like this, would you marry me?" And he's like, left on a cliffhanger, like <laughs> <laughs> to be continued. <laughs> like, so it's like, uh, talk about. so it's, it's crazy. Yo, so yeah. if they bring the black it. Lois Lane into the DCU, will we well, be mad? Well, well, no. So now, it, like. Anybody of any race makes sense in comic books nowadays when they opened up the multiverse, to be honest with you. Oh, so and, there's no... And not even in the multiverse setting. Like, I feel like if it's not directly impacting the character's yeah. background, then no. Lois Lane, it, her main thing is she grew up a military brat. So, so that drives a lot of her character because her dad is a military asshole. Right. So that could be anybody. Yeah, right. exactly. That could be anybody. In fact, she is yeah. if in the cartoon currently, she is Asian. If yeah. I'm not mistaken, yeah. So it don't matter. Yeah. It, it truly don't matter. I Even I would say it's not keep Superman plot. white, but that's a whole nother. Oh, I was about to say well, who was Even that like, girl that he had that girl in Smallville, mm. Kristen but, Crook. But what was that? Who was it? Wasn't Lois she Lane at first? Also, yeah, she is. They they had a mixed up, you know, mixed around, you know, diversity in there. So which was nice in Smallville, mm. and that was you know mid two thousands, yeah. which was good. Yeah. But yeah, no, I don't like. I don't give a shit about the changing of the race or anything yeah. like that. As long but as, as, long as the, the backstory is solid. That's all that matters. That's all that Like Antonio matters. said, that's all that matters because that's what made the character. Yeah. But anyway, what's up? Let's get back to the Yeah, yeah. that's what I was saying. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. so all yeah. these categories. That's my bad. Category, yeah. So, anyway, Oppenheimer, we're all in agreement. Yep. Yep. Next, that's we got the nominated best for best, best Director. Go ahead, read it. Go about. ahead. Where we've got some bullshit. Okay, we got go some ahead. bullshit. We've got, um, hold on. Wow. We, okay, we got Anatomy of the Fall, uh, Justine Triet. I don't know how to say that last name, T-R-I-E-T. Shout out to you, Justine. <laughs> yep. Killers of the Flower Moon, of course. What, is, what is going on with your voice right uh, now? Because <laughs> oh, I'm reading down. Oh. Oppenheimer, we got Christopher Nolan. Yeah, you're reading down, all right. Well, these glasses, I can't, you know, the sunglasses right. and doors. Right. We got Poor Things. That's a problem. I'm not even, I'm not going to, sorry, I'm not going to attempt it. The director of Poor Things. Yep. Yeah, Y-O-R-O. You? No, no, I'm sorry. It's Y O G. Fucking yeah. The, <laughs> you don't gotta say it. You, just, <laughs> here, the, 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 you say it. Zoom in on it. Because I wouldn't be. I, I wouldn't Zoom do it. Zoom in. Yeah, you this, gotta see. Detroit, it. You got poor things. Uh, yeah. You got it. Uh, Yargos Lanthimos. Okay. And then yeah, that uh, the zone of an entrance. Oh, Jonathan Glazer. Boom. Glazer. I could have said that. Bloody day. Jonathan Glazer. We know somebody got robbed in this one. Greta Gerwig. Yes. What? Gertrude. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. You call her Gerber? <laughs> she said Gertrude. She said Gertrude. Like she was fucking eight Gertrude. years old. <laughs> my intrusive thought. Grandma came out. Gertrude. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Oh. Uh, Greta Ger. Greta got me saying it. Fuck, Matt. Uh, <laughs> Greta. Greta Gerwig was snubbed <laughs> uh-huh. for best um, director. Mm. Yeah, that's fucked up. Yeah. Mm. Yes, I heard How about that. How do we feel? That so okay, okay. You, I, I, you I, know, my I quick talk and easy. my shit. In okay, the group I, chat. my, my yeah. thing is just real quick, real quick. Are right, you quick? Not Yo, quick. I understand. Like, We're how do we have boys. all these, all these, fa- uh, all these motherfucking things in Best Director? Mm-hmm. What, it's eleven movies, but we can only do what six or five? Five, it's five. 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 I'm pretty sure. It, even if it was five, list. y'all can take one of them out. 
Y'all can take one of them out just just for the impact or that Barbie one. had. Yeah, like, like she doesn't oh, have to win, you. but like show at recognition. Least the nom- nom- Bro, nomination. I think she should win. Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. I look. I yeah. I think she did fantastic. I think like she nailed it. Do I think she should win? No. Mm. And I have a personal opinion about that, not because you know she's a lady, but because of the, like. <laughs> Some other shit. Yeah. <laughs> Women no, win why? Oscars. Bro. Oh, I just think so. In my personal opinion, I do think Christopher Nolan should win just because of the amount of work that he put into that movie, like recreating the atomic bomb explosion that out of practical effects. Crazy. When you in a in a time where you can just mind. use VFX to do that, mm-hmm. and that man said, "No, nah, fuck that shit. We blowing it up." <laughs> To me, it's pretentious enough. Like, yeah, I see him doing that. So, and, the yeah. way, the, and then the, the, the way it was shot, too. The, the way it was shot, like, it was through uh, RDJ's character's perspective was in black and white. And then through uh, Oppenheimer's was in color. Like, to me, like, stuff like that really gets me going. Okay. And it's just, like, the fact, like, my favorite thing about the movie is fucking Einstein going out to, or no, not Einstein, but Oppenheimer going out to Einstein by the pond. They have a little talk yeah and then yeah. he walks past rdj's character and that's the the downfall that's right like the there cla- yeah. and Catalyst. we don't find out till the end about what was said yep. and the whole time rdj thought it was about him yeah and that's what started it was not about yeah it had nothing to do with that motherfucker yep. but that goes to show you ego is a bitch mm-hmm. yep mm-hmm. and it's like it was it had nothing to do with you the whole fucking time bro and like in that final like that final delivery of that like that line mm-hmm. is bone chilling yeah. Because it's true. Yeah. So, like, for me, that is what made him, in my opinion, the best director. Like, Barbie, all around, fantastic fucking it blew movie. My Phenomenal, mind. beautiful message. Everything about it was gorgeous. I watched yeah. it recently. Same. And when she sitting on the bench with that old lady, yeah, like, that yeah, hit like me. My yeah, again. I heart. forgot that about it. Like, and then I started to watch her up. Yeah. Like, I'm like, why am I? I'm not even. What are these, okay. Yeah. What got to do with me? So, I want to <laughs> challenge that. So, on, on the tip of. Tip. Pause. Yeah, here we go. Mm. Play. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, I only challenge that because how many war movies do we have? Despite who did it, despite mm. who's in it, mm. how many of these stories I, do we have? So as I'll, American I'll say, I'll that, that. But wait, and just so like my thing is like the message, the Oppenheimer and the whole battle between Oppenheimer and Barbie was only a thing because of Barbie yeah. itself. If Barbie wasn't coming out the same day, I don't think Oppenheimer wouldn't got as much attention as it gotten. I agree with you on that one. So I think, and just like the whole conversation, we don't have big global movies about feminism. No. Mm-hmm. At all. And while at surface level feminism as Barbie was, mm. you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, it definitely. It was not like too much where it's trying to be pandering. But everything was in good taste. It was a good taste. It yeah. was a good level. It wasn't um everything. You know, dogpiling on like exactly. it didn't right. matter. But it was, <laughs> it was like about like being good. the first. We had our yeah. cans. That's why they had exactly right. they had the cans, cans and they, they had the cans and stuff like that. So like on the tip of that, I just feel like we don't get as much movies like that and for, yeah. it's a, for Greta not to be recognized for what she is she should they be, have she their own graphics yeah. they have their yeah. own set the set designs in Barbie's the set world, designs were crazy so dope crazy see, so dope see the, the only I, thing yeah, is we all like three got, our, we all three Oppenheimer got. wasn't wasn't just a war movie I agree with it that was that's about, yeah, was it was about it was about the effects of of war, yeah, it wasn't like sh- it yeah. didn't show anybody in a helmet, anybody on the field. Or it's anything. a different it level of war. Didn't. It was yeah, yeah. The, the it was more the psychological. That's why it didn't go the psychological yeah, yeah. of the, war. Because how many times have we seen a World War Two movie? Yeah, like actual like, World War Two in particular. Yeah, like bro, we that get we get war of all wars. we get the war. We get at least two. At least, we had at least three. Oh my I'm just god! The see you don't like the sequel. <laughs> yeah, the man. part two, the remix. I was about to say, we say the, the remix. Was better than one. Two, war harder. No, really war harder. Hey. Right. Part two, the remix. War everyone. All I know is Germany's own <laughs> two. We and did if it We again. got them. Yeah. If, if right, if, part two, Germany. Let's do this shit again, bro. <laughs> hey, if Germany's bro. on our team for World War Three. Get worried because they haven't won a war yeah, yet. That you see, Germany ain't be. said shit with this shit going on. We don't talk about that. What's going on right now? Germany ain't said shit. Yeah, they're gonna because they've been there. I to, yeah, they got a genocide. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> that, but back up. They said Germany said shit. Keep up. We had something. Keep our going. name out of this shit. He ever been in art school? But uh, <laughs> so <laughs> yeah, there's about two World War World War Two movies a year. I'm yeah. I'm done with yeah. World War. Not yeah. I'm done with World War Two movies, but I like how it's I'm just, told, from, it's told told from a different, different perspective. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm about like, all quiet on the yeah, Western Front. Pretty much what I agree. You pretty well, much said all quiet on the Western Front was World War One. 
Slow Either way, yeah, I get what you're right. I'm, I'm not done with yep. war movies as, as much as I'm do- done with slave movies. Bro, Bro, I'm so, oh, yeah. Am I allowed to say yes to that? Yeah. yeah you okay. Oh, I already yeah, said, I said it. See, I said it first. <laughs> I'm doing y'all a chance. Yeah. Y'all better than that? Yeah, I want my uh, friends yeah. free. <laughs> free life! Free my people! <laughs> Sorry, sorry, sorry. That's so funny. But, but yeah, yeah you were, like, I, I oh, agree. I agree. But it's yeah, so depressing, and we're yeah. so much more it is than that. But yes, depressing. Greta Garrick deserves. I don't know about America being more than that. Nah. I'm talking about the wars. I'm uh, yeah. them that's that's all America right. is about. So out I was, of say, call a spade a spade. Out of those, who going? do you think's gonna win? Then? War and oh, money. We, oh, I already. I got Christopher oh. Nolan for that one. I got yeah, Christopher Nolan. I got Christopher Nolan. I like Christopher Nolan, but I also like Martin Scorsese's movie. Okay, Killers of the Farm. Yeah, yeah, I, I watched it. I really did like it. It was that. good. It was good, but it didn't make me feel. I didn't see it. I feel like I got my oil stolen. I told you. <laughs> I told you how I feel about Martin Scorsese. Yeah, I mean, it is a good movie. I'm not gonna lie to you, and I did stay interested the whole time. Hmm. But like Oppenheimer gave me chills in moments. Yeah, where I'm like, fuck. Anything that like, can make I you know hit white America people are evil. I'm white. I've heard the conversations. <laughs> I know whites are evil. Yeah. Uh, they're a whole different animal. Yeah. Okay, I know this. Like, but the movie was phenomenal. So it wasn't a surprise. You're you right. You're right. It's like because again, we get these movies every so often about like America being evil, white people are bad, right? White devil movies. White devil movies. Yeah. Like, devil. like we know this. Yeah. Okay, so how how do you make us interested? Yes. And yes, I And he did keep us interested, but also at the same time, like me and Mike were watching, and Mike was like, how are y'all not onto the fact that it's every time you're married to a white man, y'all start dying off? <laughs> like, bro, no. The thing was is that she was okay, like she was she was uh like okay when she knew what was going on. Yeah, that's, but like she yeah. was like she kind of just wanted peace or something. No, like yeah, that. I, no, like yeah, yeah she in wanted a way, to like. That's, I think that's one more way of a play of like it, because when you're tired, you're tired. On. Yeah, you absolutely like, right. Would you say well, was, like I time. think that's just a play on like what actually goes on. Sometimes yeah. people, it's like a Stockholm syndrome where they're like, if it's yeah. going to keep peace and like you're going to stay away from my of side of the family, then I'll be kind of all right. With it. So wise yeah. for I mean, in yeah, a way, like you see her up. do that, but no, then you that also was our ties. That was our gen. Because she asked him a question. Okay, okay, not doing shit. She she did ask him a question in the movie. I don't want to spoil anything, but she did ask him, and that's when she was like. Did you ever? Did oh this, wait, no. Did you? She, no, is she, this killers of a oh, fire fucking yeah. spoil this bitch. No, that's why I, I have no intention of. Yeah, I'm gonna spoil people. this bitch. She's like after everything's done and he's like testifying against his uncle and everything, and she's sitting across from him. She asks him one question because he admitted to like putting a hit on her sisters. Yeah, like being part of the murders. All this. Wait, stuff. are we talking? Bed? This is still killers of fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. this kind of sounds like Oppenheimer. No, no, like, this killer, this the killers, bro. Scene, but okay. But uh, like she's sitting across from him and she's okay with all that. Mm-hmm. She's okay with all. Well, I don't want to say she's okay with it, but she's come to terms with it. Yeah, I'll say that. Sorry. Right, yeah, yeah, exactly. That's a better. And she it. sits across and she goes, she goes, "What was in the shots?" And he knew it was poison. It's and he knew good. he was poisoning her. And he looked at her and he like you could. Man looked stupid. The man looked like he had a fourth grade education and a thirty year old body. And he just sitting there like mm-hmm, insulin. Man. Insulin. And she just got up and left. Never talked to him again. Yep. Mm-hmm. So oh, okay. It was the fact that like nice. she. I guess she was like open to the fact that he's being honest. He's telling the truth. He's like yeah. Mm-hmm. And but then that like he still couldn't. Right. And she knew because she had gotten treated for it. Mm-hmm. And so the hospital clearly was like, hey, after we gave you all that heroin, like you were poisoned. Shit. So, so <clears throat> Lear, why do you think Killers of the Flower Moon deserves it over Oppenheimer? Over yeah. Oppenheimer? Well, just because, like, Barton Scorsese was very, very good at, like, portraying the, to make sure you hated these people. Mm-hmm. He hated it, but you couldn't look away. Mm-hmm. Like, I hated, from the first time that this nigga opened his mouth. Mm-hmm. And explain why that they're doing what they're doing. I hated this nigga, Robert, but I could not. Robert De Niro. Robert De Niro. Robert yeah, De Niro. but I couldn't like look away. Look, look, okay. And yeah. also, like, also, it was very. Um, Oppenheimer was accurate too, very accurate. <clears throat> but Killers of the Flower Room, because I kind of read it beforehand too, mm-hmm. was very accurate to the actual story that went on. And also, like, no, it's good. I do like. I do like. I never heard like. I, like you just said with war, with war move with war stuff and like I kind of knew who Oppenheimer was beforehand. Yeah. But like hearing about a story that I never, never heard, heard before. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm a director. Bet. Yeah. But okay. um, I don't really think it was the best movie. But best directed, yes. Okay. Okay. Also the best movie. Yeah. Okay. I mean, there's like, yeah, those are two different things. Yeah. yeah. 
All right. That. What do we next got category? Next? next category. Category is uh, an actress in a leading role. Ooh, uh, net betting for Nyad. Mm. Lily Gladstone, Killers of a Flower Moon. I did like her. Sandra Huller, Anatomy of a Fall. No. Casey Mulligan, Maestro. And Emma Stone, Poor Things. So again, leading actress, Barbie got stiffed. Margot. Wow. Our girl Margot. Wow. Again, missing the point of the movie. Now, there's some good... Every, I mean, there's, wow. we don't take away from anybody on that list. Anybody on that list. 100%. 100%. Not saying they don't deserve again, it. Again, the fact that... Margot Robbie. Add a sixth person into that fucking thing. That's crazy. Bro, could you not get any better? I couldn't think of nobody at any... Maybe Brennan, me. White women in I Hollywood mean, is plentiful, right? Uh, you be yeah. <laughs> boy, oh boy. And there's a lot of look like her. Right. <laughs> yeah, like, there's like at least two what? big arc. I could big tell ass. you, I couldn't, I couldn't find anyone to cast that. She And like Margot Robbie, I just, I'm a stand for her anyway. So mm. like, I'm just, I'm yeah. disappointed. Yeah. Disappointed. Like so I haven't seen. I didn't see any of these movies. Yeah, neither have I. That's so why I can't seen, say too much. You y'all seen Killers of a Flower Moon, right? Yeah. yeah, but I really wouldn't. Um, I have to see the other movies first because mm-hmm. the uh, what's her name, Lily? Uh, Lily Gladstone. Is that did, the native person who she, played? She, no, she was. She was good. She was very. She was. She was actually. She was the second lead to Leo, right? Yeah, she was the second lead to Leo. So okay. she was a. Good, I mean, good as in a good guy. <laughs> oh, okay. But she, yeah, yeah. her acting. It was, it was, yeah, it was all right. She was sick was for right. most of the movie, so it was like. Yeah. She uh-huh. killed it in that. <laughs> but Wait. she didn't die. She didn't die. No, no, she, she didn't die. die. I think she didn't. Which <laughs> she made was me mad because she died before Robert De Niro's character died. Yeah. And that shit made me mad. Bro, didn't, he got fucking like three years. Yeah, jail. bro, he got he got out yeah. 10 years after she died. I ain't even going to get on that. Talk about it. <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> but. All right. I have, oh, let me go back real quick. I have heard, you said Emma Stone, right? Yeah, Emma Stone. I have heard Poor Things. Yeah. Is that, about that what is, movie? What is that Four movie? Things with Willem Dafoe um, and um, what's Ruffalo. his name? Mark Ruffalo. Oh, that's streaming on Paramount right now. I've been wanting to see that. Is yeah. it good? Yeah, I heard it was good. I yeah. it. Okay. it might be one. It's one of the best films of uh, 2023. I've been seeing oh. the little commercials for it. It looked cute. Same. Can I, I say have... something real quick? What up? I mean, how about so? uh, Best Picture guy. There was a snub in Best Picture. What's up? Okay. What up? I forgot. To oh say. yeah, yeah, yeah. Godzilla I... minus one. Oh, uh, got snub for Best Picture. So Actually, I just want to put that out there real quick. And I, think uh, I, had uh, some, I had some notes about. Let me see what else I had. Because <clears throat> Godzilla minus one, Go the directing and everything on that, the storyline, everything. It's another war movie, bro. Was it just, it is a war movie, but, another, the, yeah, technically, yeah. but the meaning yeah. behind yeah. that movie is a lot deeper than we think. Mm, and it's than just right. like, oh, I got a big It's just snub. crazy. I'm mad. Oh, I can't wait. Is it a category we talked about already? Yeah, for oh. best picture, and no one in the movie was nominated. Saltburn. I'm mad. Oh, as yeah. Fuck. Okay. So, it, okay. I thought you were going to say Iron Claw. Iron Claw didn't get what's the card either. Mm-hmm. No. Isn't Saltburn the one where he drunk to come out the journey? Yeah. Yeah. yeah I, saw I didn't see it. Hold on. I know about the scene. I know I about want, the scene. Don't, that don't, movie. Don't explain. It, I want to I looked at the, the whole front. So it's bad good. shit crazy. It's so good. Crazy. Okay, I can't wait. I, I love Honestly, Barry. honestly, mm. out of the like the big movies that we supposed to that we talking about, Oppenheimer, Barbie. That should be up there. Spider Man. Spider Man. It's my favorite. Yeah. Like, wow. Hey, Godzilla really? my favorite. Godzilla and I thought it should have nice. nothing. Tomber got nothing. Well, Godzilla got, got VFX. Fake VFX. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tomber got nothing. And like some of my favorite people are in this movie. So Barry. Barry's God, gorgeous. Sexy. So he's so hot. God, did you ever watch the Banshees of Inishire? No. Or whatever it's called. Yo, I got yeah, yeah, Banshees. Oh yeah. my God. I really that. good. Oh, I need to see it. And, y'all, and if, you got, like, uh, if you guys have like man boners for Barry. Oh, of course. I don't. Yeah. Okay. The end scene. Not that Barry. Barack. Barack. <laughs> you mean the scene on the grave? I was going to say. No, not that scene. The, the, oh, okay. the uh, uh, murder on the dance floor. <laughs> I'm all right. Don't wait. explain that because I, yeah. I want to come in this bitch fresh. You I, got, oh, I only, I only read a synopsis. Oh, wait till I see the but I heard, so many. I heard uh, there's a thing that like he like ad libbed and people were like on yeah, social media. I'm he not going to go to it. Wow, it's some weird shit. He he like. I don't want. I'm not going to tell y'all, but yeah. Yeah, Barry got snubbed. Orphanages. What is her name? The lady who plays she plays the mother in the movie. Um, the wife. Loretta Devon. No. You said mother in the movie. Mother in this movie. Oh, in this movie. Oh, she is usually. I know her from um, the movie with Ben Affleck, whose wife he killed but didn't kill. Gone Girl. Oh, Gone Girl. Yeah. The, wi- the wife in that movie. What is her name? The wife? Oh, th- th- that's the mom? I was about to say. I, oh, I, don't, I don't know her name, but I know. Maybe I got you. Yeah. I know what you're talking about. What, all right. Yeah, I know who you're talking about. Her. She's in it. Yeah. Phenomenal. 
phenomenal. I can't mm. She, her not getting nominated for supported. Bitch. I know she plays like the worst she white plays woman. The worst. worst, bro. It was. <laughs> it, it, I'm not even. Are you talking now. about? I'm not even gonna try to say your name. I'm just gonna keep... <laughs> My dyslexia hey, just, kicked that, in that, hard. He's good. your translator. Antonio's a translator. That's hilarious. Where mm. is it? Is she not that one? Rosemary Pike. Rosemary Pike. Pike. Is it Rosemary? That yeah. Strong ass name. Yeah. Yeah. Her name. You couldn't is say that. Rosamund. Roseman Rose? Pike. Roseman. Oh, I was about to say, I was about to say, I thought she is, But yeah, she plays crazy white woman. She plays well. good, yeah. And yeah. That but bitch yeah, is crazy. You got her. That shit was... Yeah. What's the next category? Next category. Color purple. What? I just already switched it for that her. Was my, that was my you. snub. So, uh, yeah, but she, they got... Yeah, Color Purple got snub. I didn't see it, but I'm, I'm going to see it, but I'm not surprised. I'll see it, too. Well, it wasn't well... Support. I'm supported, but I'm not surprised. No, it's, it was a. We're 2024. Well, you can't no, be I can't really say because <laughs> right, uh, last year musical? West Side West Side uh Willie. Story no, oh. <laughs> West Side Story was nominated last year for I think Best Picture. Best so picture. musicals should musicals really count in Best yeah. Picture. It counts for like everything. Eight musicals, mm. but didn't uh Martin Scorsese make West Side? Story? I think that was, was Steven, that? Oh, no, that was somebody. Uh, Spielberg. 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 Yeah. yeah, it was. It was one really big. Oh, but yeah, let's go to the. Uh, yeah, let's head to the next one. Yeah. Uh, actors in a leading role. We have Bradley Cooper and Maestro. Uh, they Paul, hate that nigga, dog. Paul baby. <laughs> you gotta see <laughs> Not that, that movie, he won't. dog. That man just wanted to be in his own movie. Right. He <laughs> just wanted to. <laughs> he does everybody else movie. Be a fucking talking raccoon. Right. And be a and, nigga and, who take a living. Love his ass. Yeah. He drives Lady Gaga. Rave reviews, but damn, he does his own movie. Everybody oh, can't stand like, his ass. Put that stick down, nigga. <laughs> right. Like, yeah, go ahead. Uh, Coleman Domingo in Rustin. I want to see that. I want to see that, too. I love mm-hmm. Coleman Domingo. He, uh, If you watch Euphoria, he's in it. He's in Euphoria. And Fair to Walking Dead. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh, that's a show. Paul Giamatti. Love Paul Giamatti. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And the Holdovers. Yeah. I wouldn't be mad if he got I his this year. He, I wouldn't be upset. Nominated. I love Paul Giamatti. Yeah, he's He's like a bit bad liar. Yeah. He's in... Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was about to say, hold on, he's young. Name some new shit. Now, yeah, right. he was a uh, rhino in hey, Spider Man 2. There you yeah. go. That's <laughs> God, <laughs> Jesus Christ. I would understand I that. my first I movie with the big fat liar. No, no, that's, no I know what you're saying. Because that's something that's that blue guy. It's it's blue guy. Age, that's bro. probably, no, I that's think he so did the funny. cutoff. I think he did the cutoff. Like, that's Man, the earliest damn. I can remember. Because that's how I first knew him. That's how I first knew him. I was like, he's the blue guy. That's my guy. That's my guy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Well, how old are you, Wes? <laughs> Wes, my age. Okay, so that would be up his wheelhouse. Yes. Uh, my, right. I, I didn't even throw my right. age around. Okay, uh, Cillian, Cillian Murphy, Oppenheimer, who's mm. probably going to... Probably. Uh, and Jeffrey Wright in American Fiction. I, I love see Jeffrey American Wright Fiction. so fucking much. Yeah. And I know it's I love that he's been, been in, uh, yeah. he's been in a lot of uh, Wes Anderson movies lately. Mm. Uh, he's a great actor. Jeffrey Wright. Really? Yeah, like he was in... Um, the French Dispatch is, I think, the first one he was in, and then he was just in Asteroid City, which came out like that was the next one. What to else come was out. he in? I just watched Asteroid City. Right? Uh, the French Dispatch. It's on HBO Max. It's fucking phenomenal. Seeing anything else that I might? Uh, Batman. from Wes Anderson? No, 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 no. Oh. That he's been. Oh yeah, 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 so yeah. He's Commissioner the, Gordon. In the he's Commissioner Gordon. In the Batman. Oh, right. yeah. If you, see West, if you ever see Westworld, he's in Westworld. He also is. Isn't he Watch the voice that. of Uatu in uh, What If? I think so. Yeah, he's the voice of Watcher. He is. What he if, is yeah. the voice of Watcher. He's got a really good voice. The Watcher. Yeah. 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 Oh wow. Okay. Where he talks like he has a very good speaking voice. Yeah. yeah. It's a good yeah. soother. Yeah. Very soother. Soother. Yeah. I would like to have him read a book to me. Yeah. Very much. Uh, uh, I'm pretty I can sure make that was, happen. Oh, you yeah. can get some AI for that. Yeah. yeah I'll make I don't. That, yeah. I want him to get you want paid the real for voice. Yeah. You want the real voice? No, no, no. I'm not going to support all our actors. Support AI, you son of a bitch. Well, if you know how to use it, I support you, bitch. What? What'd you say, Wes? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's fitness ear. Daddy, read me a story. <laughs> oh my god! Hello, Nick. Hello, um, Nick. Little Nick. <laughs> little Nicky. Jeffrey. <laughs> oh, little. Nick. But uh, yeah. So that's for best uh, best that's actor, you think it's gonna go to? Civil. Do we? I don't think Cillian Murphy deserves it. Wow. I said it. Is it Interesting. He's, is it because he's white? Cause he, no. I think Paul Giamatti. Hey, I haven't seen it. I haven't seen. It. I, I don't think I've say seen Cillian Murphy. I want to see that. I want to see Jeffrey Wright. Uh, American Fiction just came out. I know. I want to see that. I yeah. want to see it too. So, like, I don't understand how do you can nominate something that just came out. Wait, wait, wait. That, see, that was my excuse for Iron Claw. I'm like, well, it's been like it probably was. It's only been out like two call. weeks. Yeah, Zach Efron put his heart and soul into that bitch. Yo, heart and soul into that bitch. Man, jaw. that man. That that's a man. <laughs> I don't care if you got that coconut haircut. I'm served. <laughs> you heard me? 
<laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, do we want to do it. some I of the uh, 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 level stuff? No, we don't have to do. I mean, the cinematography, like do, cinematography. Do, we do, can do cinematography. Do do an, do animated films. Wait, we got to do VFX because yeah, yeah, that's a big one. There and okay, that's so a big one. thing for them. Well, hold on. Wait, I didn't say who I wanted to. Who I wanted to. Okay, so oh, yeah, who you want to? Yeah, for the actors, for lead actor, the Oppenheimer dude. You Billy think Murphy. Murphy sh- yeah, bro. That nigga look like he had his heart broke. Bro, he they did was a good talking job. about oh, yeah, the last, they was uh, talking the last about his, uh, yeah. They was, was talking crazy. about his affair in front of his wife. Oh, <laughs> that shit was crazy. And he just kept a straight. Don't pack. get me wrong. Look, don't that get me wrong. And like I'm gonna explain like how I explained it to Mike yesterday, because I was like, Robert De Niro does not deserve to be on the best supporting actors list. Mm-hmm. And agree. it's because like for me to be on that list, you have to give a performance. That's jaw break. Exactly. That's like, Mouth yeah. opening, a gape. You, you Wait, come so back from that like, like Leo did with that motherfucking scene with old they, girl. Uh, killers, uh, yeah. Or I, I think about. Sh- <laughs> I know he, he was cracking. Yeah. You know what yeah. you're talking about. about. Where he got yeah. super <laughs> racist <laughs> as fuck. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. <laughs> but he delivered that scene. And for that, so you saying Robert? So you saying Robert Downey Jr. does no, not? No, not Robert Downey Jr. You're talking about Sid Robert De Niro. Oh, Robert De Niro. I deserve. I was on the same page with you, but I was just going to let him go until I called. Spoiler alert: Robert De Niro is nominated for Best Supporting. Yes, he's. But what I'm saying is like Cillian Murphy. Like he did a great job in the movie. Great job. But there was no like standout. Like there's nothing where he. Just like delivering like, hard. He doesn't give like a line. There's not a. I don't remember a monologue. I don't remember a. I remember like the the. I, I don't know. Like, he, I the movie he other, did have, but a there good wasn't monologue. a lot. Like, the, I I like I'm not saying he didn't it's do a good job. Than, right. than, but I need that. His di- it's more than his dialogue. It was the way that he was carrying himself. The way yeah. that he was. I, I, I'm not saying he didn't do a good job. The way that he portrayed the the dude of Oppenheimer was on point. Okay, so like so like think about think about it like this. So. Spoiler alert, Ken, uh, we Ryan win. Gosling is nominated for Support. supporting. Yeah. Uh, so think about it in the sense of you remember Ken. Yeah, you yes. remember Ryan oh, Gosling and yeah. yeah. Bro, oh, that, the, the, yeah. you know, he, she, that was so, we're he gonna deserves get it. We'll get to we're there. Gonna, we're going to get to that, yeah. But, you know, you remember the I am Ken and just the, the goofiness of it. You remember how, because, like, when he first got cast as Gosling, that was like, oh, but yes. like no, he Same. he yeah he was oh but that like, was the way we, that's he the way Jack words actually yeah Married. there's but nobody he, that could like, done better hilarious. I don't think yeah. anybody could have done but, better. Oh. so on the same tip yep of Cillian of Cillian on Cillian Murphy <laughs> being <laughs> the lead, for the him being the lead yeah mm-hmm. right of this movie right there was nothing that Cillian Murphy did aside from his job yep. Which was a good job, great job, great job. Mm-hmm. That took it over the edge for me. Well, See, Barbie. No, I'm gonna let you go. Go ahead. No, go. Okay. Go, go. Okay. Thank you. Thank yeah, you. I've been talking about so. Life. Um, I haven't seen any of the other movies, so I'm only just going to support Ceiling in the best way that I can mm-hmm. because I've watched a couple of Silly his Murphy movies. Yeah, he's a very good actor. For an actor, for me to think that they put on a crazy performance Word. is to not be them. Like, if they are like, Boom. wow, they're not this person in this other show or this other movie. Like, an example would be RDJ in Oppenheimer. Mm. Yes. Mm. I think it's Oscar worthy. Yes. But he just so played on R- that tip. He just played RDJ. He just played Robert Downey Jr. You think so? My, I think oh, so. I like But he then Cillian, like, the, when you talk about the monologue, the thing that sticks with me when I think about Oppenheimer was literally the scene where he was on the podium talking to the people He's on the, up, the cast and Ooh. his stress and the way that he delivered. Yeah. The words and yeah. he his performance wasn't extraordinary or out there, and it definitely didn't blow my mind, which I do agree needs to be the top. Like that would be what win, wins it. Be, yeah. But another thing is the fact that he I'm just only assuming is like a method actor where he saw Oppenheimer the way he his tones and he's a boring guy. He's just your typical he's scientist a science kind of nerd, dude. Yeah. Exactly. But he was good pussy though. So oh, when he rip. was like stressing and having that that's anxiety. Science fiction. Dude, that's science he theory. <laughs> bro, bro, bro. He has some bitch. It's not about getting puss. It's not. It's about fucking. It's about brat, blowing up the think? world. It's about blowing up America, changing the world. Yeah. You get pussy Better. and Tell blow that up to the four hundred thousand yeah. people. Yeah. 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 <laughs> All right. My bad. Next one. Right. But Matt, yeah. you, yeah. you you are. That's absolutely. Thank what I'm talking you. about. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. The movie was bleak, dark, and fucking. I mean, tragic. I agree. For me, that's. I'm saying what sells yeah. it for me is the best actor. Yeah. Is I need that explosive shit. I need to see that I need raw emotion. And, 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 and he was sitting there. And he did a good chair. job. Yeah. He did a good job. Leg, he did. Yeah. I, don't get me wrong. Like he did that, a great job, bro. But that final line when he delivered that bitch, 
I did get chills through this body yeah. of mine, I like, this temple. Right, right. I felt it, but like it wasn't nothing like. That's what I tell. No, and for. I agree. Shit, I agree. I don't think it's Oscar worthy, mm-hmm. but I do think that's uh, why I'm just mad about the movie in general. What I all this accolade, it like it was a good movie, yeah. but like it doesn't need the attention. I'm sorry, it doesn't need. It doesn't deserve the attention that it needs. It was a good mm-hmm. movie. It was a great movie. Yeah, I'm not thinking. So about I will, I'm, I'm I will, a Nolan fan, but like, is it any okay? And that's another. It's a. It's a Nolan film. So that's and what that's I was going to say point. with my, I, why I can agree with you that is because I'm a Nolan fan. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I don't, I don't have a need to watch Oppenheimer again, but See, I'll watch the, Interstellar again. I'll watch there's Inception nothing again. Up, exactly. There's but, nothing about it that makes you want to come back to it. So actually, like, yeah, I'll Interstellar. Twice. You have to at least watch Tenet, Oppenheimer twice. So you know, Dark Knight even. You know, I'll go back to Dark Knight. I'll go back so to many Dark times. Knight. And, and that's because it's a Batman, Batman movie. It's just a great movie. Don't get me started on the Batman movies. I don't know. We you know I'm not a Nolan fan. I'm saying, I, 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 but I'm not a Nolan fan. I hate the Batman movies. I hate the Batman movies. I like movies? the Dark Knight. A Batman Begins and the Dark Knight Returns. A Batman Begins. Absolute begins. fucking See, garbage. I, I hate Batman begins. I'm in the same boat. <laughs> they should have began. I was a closeted Batman hater until Nick came out. Batman I'm, Begins, hate, oh, Batman begins is mid. I know you are. Batman uh, Batman re, uh, Batman Rises. The Dark Knight Rises. Grinds my because it started the uh the 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 um the routine of of superhero movies having this like big cataclysmic worth in the apocalyptic battle like well that's you that's, know is that the one about to destroy a city mean, that's already destroyed destroy. like nobody fucking no cares. one you cares well Batman care you know how mad I get reading comic books and like they're attacking Gotham I'm like they've been attacking they're Gotham always attacking Gotham Gotham <laughs> trick the city of Townsville is Let's under attack city dock. please move yeah yeah <laughs> you gotta you gotta they must pay you to live there. This ain't no way I'm no, going to You know the rent is like $200. Thing, right? The rent better be yeah. fucking a dollar. <laughs> I better get burritos for free <laughs> for living there. Yeah. All right, let's All right, wrap yeah, up. Uh, up. So, yeah, let's, yeah, let's, let's do uh, so, so visual two more effects. Category, two more visual categories. Effects. Effects. We're going to do visual effects and we're going to do supporting. Okay. Yeah. Okay, yes. Because I want visual effects to be known. And we're going to talk about animated too. So, we're going to do oh, visual yeah, effects. Yeah. Good idea. We're going to do the supportings and we're going to do animated, okay? That's hot. That's fair. Visual effects. What the fuck? Okay. What did you think it was going to be? I just wanted to feel it. All right, my what? bad. Go ahead. You, I'm glad I did not have to raise ADHD. you. I'm so, I would have left you ADHD. at the doctor's office. That's why I'm on med. <laughs> you would have left me at the doctor's office. Yeah, like, yeah that's your problem. No. <laughs> I can tell this ain't going to go well. He's shitting his mom. Dude, this ain't going to go well. He's shitting his mom, dude. This ain't going to go well. So uh, he's off rip. He's trying to kill himself. Oh, unalive right. himself. Sorry, I got to say that. Right. Yeah, unalive. Sorry. Yeah. Marty going to get on your head. <laughs> we don't want to demonetize. But yes, VFX. Sorry. sorry. VFX. Nominated for VFX, the creator. Uh, Godzilla minus one. Guardians of the Galaxy three. Nice. But it's that's moment. actually crazy. Wow. That's good for them, though. Nice. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> Mission Impossible, Dead Reckoning. Oh, wait, why did you say it like that? <laughs> Hold on, wait a second. Look at me. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do Tom Cruise like that. He fought for Hollywood. He fought for our right. Wait, no. Wait, what right? He did, he what did right? fight a lot. Oh. Hey, stand that nigga. He's, uh, oh, he's right. just short. He's so, just short. The right to sign in complex. The movie was good. That man wants to shoot a movie in he's space. Dead. That is terrifying. I can't stand that nigga. He's oh, just, so fast if you're oh, going to do it. I'm sorry. <laughs> I love, you. Tom I love Tom Cruise. Mike, He's He's Mike. Right. Mike, do you like Tom Cruise? You got Qdoba? Jesus Christ. You in Qdoba? What did you say? Yeah, it's Damn, I'm nobody, I'm I thought everybody like, like Tom Cruise. Like I'm whatever. Like no, Tom I don't know anybody who does. I only know I'm me and you. I can't stand that nigga. I'm <laughs> sorry. I don't I'm know whatever. me and you, baby. The theater was packed. What up, baby? Oh, oh, say it again. Theater was packed? No, you said it wasn't. Oh no no that was, <laughs> that was a joke that was a joke uh, yeah. uh, I thought I said something offensive and yeah, the final one I mean, baby it's over HR. I was about to say HR oh I have my HR spot. things I'm so funny flag on the play I have the uh, you know how we talk about making me HR and the three strikes thing yeah. I have a three I have the three strikes oh, rule set up I can't wait oh it's so funny like all right let's okay go. and the last one Napoleon so uh, you know. <laughs> Uh, Godzilla minus one. Godzilla minus one. So look, listen. This it was is the good. first. I love Godzilla minus one. Did you see it? Yeah, and I don't even like Godzilla movies. I don't like. I'm not a big monster movie fan, but oh, I'm a Tokusatsu nice. fan. Yeah. Power Rangers stuff. Yeah. So yeah. we'll get to that in guilty pleasures. Uh, so yeah, Godzilla minus one was so, cool. So listen, listen, it listen. was so good. It's um. It, so look, listen. I'm a huge Godzilla fan. Uh-huh. I love Godzilla. Word. Love Godzilla. Okay. Listen. This is the first time they've ever been nominated for any award. Yeah. They've been out since the 40s. 40s. Okay? Yeah. But the thing about I, Godzilla Minus One that I think the movie is phenomenal and everybody needs to see is one, they entered like they entered the human drama into this movie. Perfectly. Perfectly. Because yeah. Godzilla, Perfect. King of Monsters, tried to do it with that stupid, raggedy-ass white family. 
and it would fell on deaf ears. And I'm gonna say why in a minute. Why I threw out the white? Deaf. Because Godzilla in Japan represents America mm. during World War II. Okay, oh, yeah. so it, it makes formal. sense oh, okay. when Godzilla attacks Japan. When you have Godzilla attack America and it represents America, what the fuck are you doing? It's like a it's like a, yeah, a mass shooting. It's, it's just like mass but, shootings. But and yeah. then also like it's, it's, it's like during this day and age, it's like, like damaging victim. yourself. <laughs> yeah, I keep going. Playing but, the yes, victim. But look, but look, then, but then they had that family oh, come in. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that's where we draw the line. You want me to keep going? <laughs> but hold on, but hold on. <laughs> yes, yes, hundred percent, yes. But the thing is, like that family had none of those issues. Okay. When in um, Godzilla minus one, the main character was a, su- a kamikaze pilot for yeah, World War II, and he came back, which you weren't supposed to fucking do. And they're like, you're a piece of shit. You're the reason we lost the war. Like, no, it was mm-hmm. the two bombs. But like, yeah, for sure. <laughs> Him, we'll go We'll go with this yeah. guy right here who just wanted to live. Mm-hmm. And so it's the fact that like he survived that war, but then Godzilla comes, which represents America. So it's basically a war for him part two. Yeah. But in this time, it's his choice. Yeah. Because the Japanese government made him be a kamikaze pilot. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like a lot of the like soldiers in this movie... They end up like coming back out of re- retirement, we'll call it. But they're like, because they're fighting on their own accord. Question. Yeah. Great analysis. What the fuck that got to do with visual effects? I'm just oh. hyping up Godzilla. I know, I know. Yeah. 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 No, for real. Listen, no, I know. Oh, the visual but we got okay. it. Oh, wrap it up. Hold on. Hold on. Wrap it up. $70 million budget. Visual effects were gorgeous. I agree yeah. with him 100%. Yeah, for there it. There we go. Quality. And we supposed, whoa, whoa, whoa. We supposed to, we were supposed to do a group C on seeing it the 27th yes 26th 26th uh, it comes out in black and white so okay. we can all go see that I'm down to go see it a couple days a few days yeah. Yeah. oh yeah we're gonna have to we're gonna have to uh, we're gonna yeah. talk about that again okay. at the end of the what's it called all right. and um, so we're yeah, gonna go. do animated movie real quick yep uh, cause we got Snubs. a snub we got a snub well I want Bulls. Guardians to win visual effects fuck his minus one I oh, okay. think, suck oh, my so dick I think nominated. Never mind. I thought Across the Spider-Verse wasn't nominated oh no it was it was she wasn't yeah. Oh, TMNT wasn't. What? That's what you wanted. Yeah. Yeah. TMNT so, was not. Lo- 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 so nominations lo- are lo- for lo- Best lo- Animated lo- Field, The Boy and the Heron, Elemental, uh, Nimona, Robot Dreams, and Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. I've Get Nimona and Robot Dreams out, out of there. Get Elemental out of there. Elemental, Elemental was not good. Elemental? Not good. It's only there because it's fucking Pixar. It's over it's Pixar. T- TMNT should have been in there. T- 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 I'm going to defend Elemental. You want to defend Elemental? beat the shit out of you after this pop. Bro, it's crazy. The, the uh, we we put that on every night for the kid, and I watched it. And oh, it was I do, oh, hold on, I do it was pretty decent for me. Huh. <laughs> this section ain't for me. No, it was a, <laughs> I'm not a kid, <laughs> but still, I mean, fuck everything. <laughs> <laughs> it was a, uh, it was, it was decent. I mean, it was, it was uh, okay. But it was I don't a different. The way that you just said it was decent makes me agree that it shouldn't be up. Because, like, think about like, well, it wasn't, out. it wasn't a lot of yeah. over TNT, a lot of TNT, good and inside out. Yeah, no, over TNT, I would. Oh, first of all, yeah, that's the thing. No, I'm not saying yeah. I mean, you can take yeah, mind blowing, bro. The voice acting that was gorgeous. The animation was everything. Bro, I don't understand how they have all this stuff in best picture. But fucking actor, actress, and fucking uh, best uh, animated film get six. Like, yeah. how can y'all put yeah. all that other Sometimes, stuff? Sometimes, yeah. So I, I, don't I don't know. I don't know. They don't give a fuck are, about animation. They don't. I don't no, know if you guys still. are a Ghibli fan, but Ghibli oh, films uh, yes, are much more the than the Boy in the Heron. The Boy in the Heron. They're so beautiful. Yeah, so beautiful. Yeah. And you know, Spider Man across the Spider Verse, we know that's gonna win. Bro, that should. I think that should be best picture. I do. I do. I think Heron might win. I think. I think across Spider. I would look. I, I'm for me, well, because they won, they won for the first. You know, they don't so like represent them. foreign films. Yeah. yeah, it's Ghibli, and he's won before, hasn't he? I don't. I think Spirited Away has won. Yeah, I think so. And that was back when they were racist. Well, racist. Yeah, hell, fucking racist. Yeah. Well, they didn't give a fuck about diversity. Yeah. yeah. So, so I mean, it's out there. Ah, uh, yeah. But I mean, to go up against Spider Man, like both are fantastic movies, but mm-hmm. ah, maybe I don't know. See, that Spider Man was really good. Even that, really even. Of course, we all love Spider Man, but even it was a good besides film. a Spider Man film, it was still a it was good a I good haven't film. seen uh, the Boy in the Heron yet. Yeah. It was so yeah. good. So now I'm going based off just the animation quality that I can remember Beautiful. of like yeah, of other how Studio Ghibli. Yeah, stuff. and yeah. so off the top of my head, when it comes to Spider Man across the Spider Verse. Mm-hmm. When I saw Into the Spider Verse, I was like, "How does it get better than this?" And, and it got, uh, it got it way better, better. especially like, that yeah. ending, bro. So much better. Yeah. I'm not even and talking so, about the fight scenes and stuff in that that story. Oh yeah, yeah. Story, but, the, story but I the, think that's what the an, what the yeah. an, that's what animation films talk about. I think it just means all around, not yeah. just oh, animation. Well, yeah, that's because, yeah. It could be both because the story was phenomenal and the animation was fucking phenomenal too. Like almost 
every single one of the starting Spider-Mans had their own animation. animation? Style. Yeah. Do you know all yeah, of like that? Own I, will, I will say like, for an animated production at all, like as somebody who reads manga and loves seeing what the anime and the production that comes out there, mm-hmm. I'm more about that. Not more about the animation, but it matters. And yeah, so it does, it does. for yeah. Across the Spider-Verse, it did some stuff where I'm like, whoa, never seen yeah. that before. Mm. So I'm curious to see the boy and the heron, what they do in it that makes me go, whoa, If that's you're an anime insane. fan and, you, and you've seen other Stubbly Ghibli films. I have edibles. Oh, yeah. I just wanted to say that. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. Watch Kiki's Delivery Service. <laughs> High and <laughs> Well, I never. Yeah. I just. Never mind. I didn't know what drugs were involved. Yes. Yes. Um. <laughs> so, so the thing about uh, the boy and the heron, I, if you're looking for like a side by side comparison, like something like what you're saying, you're not gonna get that out of the boy and the heron. And it's a, it's a, it's beautifully animated, but there's nothing. Do they try something different? No. But, no okay, gotcha. No, 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 no. Because no. I know what Matt's talking about with like the trying something different. Because that's yeah. what you were explaining about like Gwen's universe. Yeah, yeah exactly. Like a water yeah. yeah, Gwen's yeah. universe pulled me like that. I'm obsessed with Gwen's. Yeah, universe. I want yeah. a whole movie of just Gwen. Gwen's just to universe. See her. I mean, because yeah. it's I like a agree. piece I'm of a art. More, but... Like I would love. What's her comic like that? Yeah. Oh, my. oh, just watercolor uh, like that. Yeah, yeah, because well, she was introduced Woo. in Spider Man: Edge of the Spidey Verse issue two, mm-hmm. and so each so like you're explaining, like we said right now, each Spider Man had their own animation. Right. It was the same for the comic book. They had a different artist wow. for wow. each one. Wow. So her okay. issue was all like a watercolor mm-hmm. look, and it was all pastel. Even, that's so there we dope. go, bro. So that that's is, yeah. I mean that's where it's they got unreal. the idea from. So yeah, I don't. Thing. Well, so it's it's visually amazing. Oh yeah, yeah. the, so the so boy and heron. The even, boy and Heron's usually amazing. Even the today, really the, how like movie what you're getting, is still the best. Yeah. But like, if top you're, tier it's not, you're not going to get the different. No, no, variety, right? I get, what, I get. But what you it's mean. still visually. Like, would you stunning. say an example? Like, if you're watching an anime that's been going on, well, One Piece, yeah. like when it goes through animation changes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Would you say Studio Ghibli they went through a change in their animation for this movie? Yeah. Like maybe some some parts oh, just look on some level. De- yeah. Better because of course, like uh, it's just you know you've seen so well they've been making movies since the 80s. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. And yeah. that's that's what so I mean. That's, like that's, I think yeah. about their old movies. Yes. Like for but they were still scenes. beautiful. It was oh exactly they still hold up today. Like an example would be you can't watch Dragon Ball. From now Uh-oh. and like Dragon Ball. Well, no, it's the same animation. It's, <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> They're animated. You know what I'm saying? No, that anime dude, is so bad. Worse. I love, I love Dragon Ball. Them. I didn't say Stop. Stop. I'm not gonna, you gonna, you, and I'm We're not gonna sorry. make this longer. We're not, uh, right. So, my, so yeah. I'm so, not even gonna so, do it. It's it's beautiful. All right. Okay. So, who do you guys think should win? Spider Verse. Spider Verse. Good yeah, idea. Say Spider Verse. Uh, <clears throat> so, moving on. Actress in a supporting role. Yes. Uh, so here's our final. This will two. be the, the last one of this one. Okay. Of, the, of this one, because we want to get on the guilty pleasure. Yeah, we want to get on the guilty pleasure. Go through oh, actresses got, and actors. Yeah, we got. Yeah, actors we need both. Okay. Actors, but, yeah, both. But we'll yeah. be quick on this one. We'll yeah. be quick. Pause. Persia got that. Persia heard that. Hi, Persia. Can't say pause on that. You know that's legally his real name now, right? It is. Is it? Yeah. Yep. Mm. Uh, so uh, supporting actress Emily Blunt love the Blunt mm. uh, Oppenheimer she did watch her husband get fucked in front of her she that shit was fucking yeah. we supposed to not be <laughs> yeah we're not supposed to be spoiled. oh sorry be <laughs> I was gonna say why <laughs> but okay <laughs> uh, Dan Brooks The Color Purple America mm. Friera mm. we, we got a movie. Barbie nom mm. and Jodie Foster and uh, Niad and Divine Joy Rudolph, the holdovers. Mm. Um, love Emily Blunt. She was great in Oppenheimer. She was. Daniel Books is, I don't know if you guys are uh, familiar with Orange is the New Black. She's yes. like tasty. I thought she yeah. was in uh, Peace Maker, too. She's I don't, that wasn't, yeah, that she was. That was her? Yeah, that I was her. I watched that yeah. show she's phenomenal. so long that I can't remember. I'm proud of her. She's hilarious. I love her. I'm, I'm, I'm happy her. for her. She is hilarious. She is. She's, she's so fucking funny. I, she needs her own show. Or a I movie. Agree. She's very good. And she's talented. I think she I think she should have a show that way it's more not a one time thing. But shows her continue. range. She's probably gonna get one after even after this nomination. She'll yeah. Yeah. Even uh one. so America Vieira Barbie. We got our finally our Barbie nom. Not saying nothing. America Vieira was great. Wasn't my favorite in Barbie. Was I probably that monologue, my least favorite. Her monologue was Oh, that dope. Girl. Yeah, that monologue was mm-hmm. like But no pearl. I'd say that would be it. No. Yeah, we are gonna watch that Pearl monologue after this. Okay, so I'm gonna go with Emily Blunt. 
Emily Blunt, I'm probably. Blunt. <laughs> yep. uh, and final, uh, final for the for what we're going through: actor in a supporting role, Sterling K. Brown, American Fiction, Robert De Niro, Killers of a Flower Moon, Robert Downey Jr., Oppenheimer, Ryan Gosling, Barbie, and Mark <laughs> Ruffalo. Poor things. Ooh, so Ryan I Gosling, know who I want. Ryan this Gosling. is the meatiest one. Ryan Gosling. Yeah. This is what we wanted I out agree. of the leading roles. In the <laughs> I agree. Yeah. I feel like this yeah. was an this easy. Is, uh, these are eaters, right? These are, this yeah. Is the, but I, I think for, this one's easy uh, for Robert me. De Niro. Ryan Gosling. <laughs> oh, he the big eater. <laughs> that man. That nigga killed niggas. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that man. No, I got to watch the movie. He, to know if, that, in but. my opinion, he was the one on that list who probably should not have been on the list. I will you probably so? say, well, mm-hmm. out of my three, Robert De Niro, Robert Downey Jr., and uh, Ryan Gosling, I honestly wouldn't be mad with either or, even Ryan though Ryan, Ryan Gosling did come out Ryan and say, Gosling. yo, how y'all not going to nominate <laughs> he said the director? And yeah. He said the it with main, his chest. Like, yeah. yeah. It, it, and, then he's, and then finally, at the very bottom, he said, yo, Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, by the way, thanks. thanks. Yeah. Bro, yeah. Uh, yo, he... He uh, deserves it. Sterling? Yeah. Sterling K. Brown, American Fiction. And I gotta see that. I like Sterling K. Brown. I, I think he's a phenomenal actor. He is. He's, like, one of those, he's one of those people that needs his flowers, and I'm happy he's finally he getting He does. And, like, did you ever watch Brooklyn Nine-Nine? Yeah. Bro, him in Brooklyn Nine-Nine? Wait. Who who's he in Brooklyn Nine Nine? Uh, he was charged for murder. He was a dentist, yes. and he killed him with uh, an award. And he's like, "No, oh, I'll shake yeah, it down." Yeah, yeah, yeah. His yeah. ego he's took like, over. Yes, because oh, they were like dude. playing his uh, yeah, mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's great. Making fun of, like all doctors have egos or something. Like that. <laughs> yeah, bro. Yeah. Yeah. He's like he's a like, dentist though. He's great. <laughs> he goes, "You have that's a doctorette." <laughs> yeah, oh. he was whole, mad. I gotta see. He was just a dentist. You haven't seen Brooklyn Nine Nine? I'm outside. He's like. Kind of went off right there. The yeah, reason that bad. I have watch, not watched Brooklyn, Brooklyn Nine-Nine, Nine-Nine because is Terry so Coon is in it, and I don't like Terry Coon. The way you say this thing, Bro. I don't. Yeah. We can't. You can't say that on the pod. I can say Coon. You can. Ain't that right, Perk? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, I would want him to win. Yeah, because I do My think bad. he deserves his flowers. Yeah, but I also think that Ryan Gosling deserves his flowers because he's done amazing Dude. roles. Oh, yeah, but everybody just sees this go like the nice yes. guys. He plays like he, you know, he overplayed his uh his rom com a little too hard. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And I think it's just time for. You I'm happy. He don't want to be typecast. I think he's yeah. tired of that shit. Yeah. And I'm he, happy. Oh like, he did God. good in Barbie. He blew my he mind. Hilarious. And he also, blew he my sang and danced. Sang it. That so, this goes back to what I was man. saying about, like, Lee, about, like you know, Cillian Full Murphy circle. type. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And this you was, know, he wasn't Ryan Gosling. He, Ryan Gosling, he wasn't Ryan Gosling. No. no. And this was something kind of out of his sphere. Like, yeah, he does rom coms, and Barbie can be seen kind of as a rom com, but right. it was different. Oh, yeah. He, and, you know, the singing, the dancing, the the simp being a Barbie, but then kind of coming out as a villain at the end, you didn't. Kind of, you yeah. kind of didn't expect it's him like, to be the, like the bad mentality. guy. Mm. Like yeah, he like, had some kind of mental. It wasn't even like that much of a bad guy. guy. He was just hurt. Nah. Yeah, just yeah. Yeah. He needed a hug. Like, right. My man just wanted one it's night okay with Barbie. Man. Yeah. You right. Men hurt too. Exactly. We do. We do. We that, wanna, that's. Well, I'm just talking about that. Mm. That's what we had a talk at the dinner table. That's right. We had a little talk at the dinner table. Sometimes. Get a hug. <laughs> exactly. That's it. That's it, that's man. It. Right. And that's and we've seen that in Ken. Yeah. Oh, we've yeah. Seen that in Ken. I, yeah. That, Ryan no. If you actually like take a message of that movie, you should feel empowered, even as a man. Yeah. Like it's meant yeah. to empower people. people. Like exactly. it's yeah. meant. Because so, that, like, that's what true feminism is. It's not about yeah. putting one sex in front of the other. It's about egalitarianism amongst all sexes. You can feel whatever you want. You can do whatever you want. Yeah. You can. You can have be any role. Whatever you, want. You, you can, can have, have any role. role. Yes. Like, you can be oh, yeah. dominant, yes. masculine, that is the feminine, point. Yeah. no matter yes. what gender exactly. you are. It's Vin just, Diesel. You want yeah. to, you can be Vin Diesel. Oh God. Yeah. Women mm. d- yo. They made true. serpents. Yo. So they the men made true. the women serpents. Serv- serpents. Oh, Listen, serpents. I agree with all that feminism. Yeah. I love it. Won't try to do everything. I still want my food. Oh, okay. I was going to say that. I was going to say that. Lear's wife better have dinner at the table. <laughs> joking. I'm joking. He better, he better walk joking. in here today. My that favorite, dinner better be One of my there. favorite movies of last year was The Marvels. Everybody looked at me like I was crazy. Yeah, Marvels what do you was mean? good. We need to have a recap about that. I know. We're not going to do it on this. We're not going to do it on that. I'm not going to be on that. We're not doing that. And not because I'm sad. Because that's just boring. Yeah. Again, I'll give a fuck about nothing. If it's boring, it's boring to me. Yeah. All right. But yeah, guilty pleasures. Let's go on. Guilty pleasures. That shit out. Here, yeah, let's, let's, banana, let's banana start with Matt. Let's no, start with Matt. No, Guilty no, pleasure. Man. You want to no, start, no, start with this? No, we start with you. All baby. right, fine. You want to start right. the youngest? All right. right, I have a list. So, yeah. <laughs> so I feel like I got kind of like two. One yeah. would be, and it could be anything. It would well, be like uh, Stephen Universe. Mm, Stephen Universe. 
pleasure for you. S- see, like I'm, I'm kind of like judge you. saying like nah, because it's kind of like a thing. Like I feel like anybody who's watched should be like, oh yeah, like that's for anybody. It's yeah. not like a children's show. It's yeah. marketed for kids. And but, the like, animation the will make you think like it's a children's show, no, but, but it's really oh, it, it gets deep, it gets yeah. Yeah. real deep, deep. Yeah. But then fuck my mama, fuck rose quartz. My main one. No, that's, that was it's the light. Not, that was it's, the calling, it's calling us off. And then, but my real guilty pleasure would be Bochi the Rock. The anime. B- Bochi okay, the Rock. You said that was that, your favorite anime. That's my too. favorite that's anime. Your guilty pleasure and your favorite. And that's, what, favorite. Is it, what is it so, about? Real quick. I don't yeah. like slice of life animes. Mm. They're kind of weird. Oh, I love slice of See, life. I like they they get like to the boundaries where it's like they have the weird anime stuff. Like you know the basic stuff that turns people off from anime in yeah. general. Yeah. And yeah. Now I'm used like to being it. in love with your sister. Yeah, exactly. That's a bit main thing. There you go. Yeah. And so like <laughs> those kind of things kind of like can put me off. Now I can get like over it because I love anime, so I know the yeah. tropes. I know what goes on in them. Mm. Bochi the Rock. It's literally just about this antisocial girl who couldn't have friends. She had social anxiety. And so she saw a band, wanted to play guitar, got really, really good at guitar. And now she's like, now nah, I need to be a part of a band. And then, I remember like, you telling me about this. Oh, uh, dude, yeah. I fucking love it. But um, it ends Bochy? up like, yeah, Bochy, Bochy the Rock. The Rock. Yeah. What I love about it is like, so they're all like 14, 15. There's zero sexualization, which is actually saying something for an anime. Yeah, but zero sexualization. Mm-hmm. And then they actually treat them like their children like what they go through in the life of like trying to make a band trying to get friends and whatnot and she's so relatable because she's so great at guitar but when she's around other people she can't get out like get over it so then there's like nice moments of her getting over it and then the music is fucking great it's real like band music like the actors actually learn how to play the shit and like sing and I don't know what that way is. Way before your yeah, time. That's, that's, that's the 60s. That's, that's my way bad. back one. Yeah, that is and so, me. I like, don't know what that was. I love like, the movie <laughs> so much. And now at the end of the day, it's just like a comedy though. Like it's got great humor. It's really like funny, sweet, and it has wholesome. And then there's moments where it's like she's coming over it and like realizing things. And it has like really relatable moments. Like there's a part where she had two of her friends come over from the band and she's never had friends over. So she's like has tea and glasses and a big like thing that says welcome and like mm, just yeah. being extra but she's like socially anxious and then oh. her sister who's like an extrovert like goes and hangs out with them she's a little kid and it's like freaking her out but then it's the way that it's produced the animation and the attention to detail of music yeah every single instrument in that show is a real licensed instrument they oh. actually show real audio equipment and audio like digital like uh so daws pay attention to details and then my favorite right. detail that made me fall in love with this anime be like it's just it's not meant to be like a oh here's a cute like there's another anime that's about a band of little girls called Kaon. it's like a really basic one that everybody knows but that's just a basic like here's some cute School girls doing quirky things, and then they're good at playing music. This one's like these school girls are socially awkward and weird and like kind of different, have their own personalities. But so then there's a part where they're playing uh, a song, like live, right. and the crowd is saying uh, like not into it. And then the people on the stage are like, "Oh, they're playing off beat or something." Or and like my first time listening, I'm like, "I don't know what they're saying. They're probably just like talking shit because it's like for the show. People don't know music." Right. But when I listen to the album, because I listen to the album a lot. You can actually hear that the kicks are off in the show. They're singing off tune. They actually have that attention to detail where it's like Damn. the song messed up. That's good. And then like yeah. Bochi was like, oh, that fucking sucks. So I got to do something cool and play this really dope solo that led into a song that was really, really fucking good. But why it's my guilty pleasure is because the substance of the show is not weird. There's no weird anime shit. It's actually really funny humor. Like I keep repeating so it's myself. The most normal but thing. But then when you look at it front face, it's like it's a pink school girl that's wearing a pink skirt. And it's like, <laughs> it's really. Oh, uh, like, okay. Okay, yeah. And so when I'm like, my favorite anime is Bochy the Rock, they look at this and be like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's your favorite anime? All right. Sure <laughs> <that?"> <laughs> and so I'm sure. like, out loud and everything? Mm, uh, yeah, so. <laughs> That's you, my though. guilty pleasure. Good Thank you. you. Thank you. I love you're literally bearing bochi stuff. All pink. That's that's her. <laughs> pink looks good. Yeah, when me. I just added it to my watch list, just oh, now, you'll love it. It's just like it's such a pink. good feeling show. Yeah. It's so awesome. and then the music is color. again, mm-hmm. that's what made me fall in love. I realized it wasn't just a show, mm. it was like actually about music and development and the animation. So it's a person and, who does music or not. Oh, 100 yeah, percent exactly. All right. Well, well, um mine, I got like I got three. Mm-hmm. Well, not two, two. Okay. Two. I like reality shows. That's my guilty Ugh. pleasure. I, believe, like, I don't really like them, but I like watching them with like, pe- I never watch them by myself. Yeah, no, don't like, do that. Like, <laughs> I love reality shows. Why right? not? It's like, <laughs> 
Whether it's like Catfish. We'll get into that afterwards. Catfish is the funniest, one of the catfish funniest shows. Great, though. I ain't going to lie to you. I don't count that as my The first couple seasons of Catfish, the wildest bro, bro, exactly. bro, one of the wildest things ever was Wild. confront that guy and he was hitting on the dude and he goes, so you're gay? He goes, oh. <laughs> but they're like, but you hit on the guy, this, that, the other, this, that. He goes, <laughs> ain't gay. You got me there. You got a boy. Right. Like, like, he was bro. a dick. And then he bro. got the dude face like, yeah, yeah, kiss me. I'm like, or what about the one guy? Neve threw his phone in the fucking water, bro. He was so bro, fed bro, up. Bro, what? See, yeah, he Neve Neve be on some shit sometimes. Catfish oh, is that one? That was good. I, when you say reality, I don't. Yeah, think that. I don't the, think that. The, either. Well, I watched it. I started He's watching the other show with my girl yeah, and everything. Bachelor. My bad. Yeah, I love that New show. York. Yeah, that that's <laughs> something else. I watched the show with my girls called Smothered. I thought I talked about. I watched it with my mom, bro. Yeah. That shit is so weird. <laughs> it is weird. But I like. We watched one episode. I'm like, bro, what's it about? Okay, it's about overbearing mom. Overbearing, like I'm talking about, like way, over, like still waxing your daughter's pussy. Ugh. Whoa. And then, like, she's 31, and then, like, yeah. she has a Whoa. dude. She has a dude. She has a dude, I and the dude, like, like bro, can your mom like step back and shit. She's yeah. like, yo, my mom just. Nah, nah. Have you seen the one where the uh, mm-hmm. be there for the fucking where the mother-in-law and the son? Yo, that shit crazy. Hella close. They eat not each other mouth and shit. And then the, oh, and that's the wife fucking. is what like. The- I'm like, like, what wait, is going on? Like, that's that's fucking, and then it's new? That's bro, fucking. It's a mother-in-law. It's a mother-in-law. It's a, it's, so it's her mother. It's her mother in, inserting herself in their relationship. They close, they like riding his feet, holding hands and shit. <laughs> oh, no, that's a, that's a, <laughs> like, to trip other and shit. Like, like, oh, y'all fucking. That was that's my exact age, bro. Y'all fucking. I'm being your ass. I mean, your ass. It was this, it, and then like and then it's like mean ass. it was it be it be say it be like uh siblings it be like siblings <laughs> and then like one is their favorite one is on the show that's like uh she like the mom she look like the mom they dress like all this other stuff and the other siblings are carrying their stuff that's they're like crazy. yo I always thought this shit was weird I, got one. I don't know oh. this shit mad weird I got one. but now, yeah is it like every episode you follow a different mom well it, it's, it's a like season of the it's kind of like a compilation of all a of multiple the, like yeah. a cast exactly. <laughs> Cast. Well, I don't want to touch. Well, that and also, I, I'm pretty entertaining. sure I told y'all this before, but like wild. when I lay down at night, I like listening to creepy pastas, and I love like oh, you like when mm-hmm. someone has pastas. <laughs> Not A F S M R A M S A S M R. Not A R. No, that's pussy. A S M R. I'm just that kidding. Shit, yo, your pussy sucks. Macaroni in a pot. Yeah, promoted. Never mind. <laughs> anyway, but no, I like yeah, watching that shit. Like. When uh, they like to tell some creepy ass stories. Oh, or, like, that's fun. Or like, yeah. uh, Scary animation stories. I like put on that for an hour, and That's I would just I go to. But you won't. But you won't watch horror. Movies. I, I will not watch horror movies. Won't yes. listen to like all. Yes, bro. Yes, It'll listen to real bro. life. I'll be listening to shit. niggas. I'll be listening to niggas to be like having. Yo, I had this Tinder date, and she told me to meet her at this one playground that was like fucking dark as hell. And I go there, and it's like nobody there. Somebody said they want to rob me or some shit. You'll listen to it. But That's I will like, listen that to it. But you won't watch. Very story. That sounds like an unfortunate event. Well, a lot of them be Did unfortunate events. I, a lot of them be like OnlyFans girls. That's, that's like crazy. they be like twenty percent of them, <laughs> and I'd be like, "Well, bitch, you kind of." I used to, I used to yeah. listen to these two like well, yeah, years we were, and years, years ago, ago, but yeah. so it was not about yeah. that. It was like, literally I still about, listen like, to Ben Drown, alien like all the time. Oh my I still god, I whew, I love right. Ben Drown. I was so into that. So yeah, good uh, reality TV shows and creepy creepy pastas. I like Antonio. That. You got a list? I have a list. So you guys judge me. Yes. Oh, for whichever ones you. you want to judge. Okay. But I have a list. Mm-hmm. Okay. Batman v Superman is one of my favorite movies. You started off the list so strong. Okay, so we talk about <laughs> hot, bad, hot takes. So it's a hot take, but it's also okay. a guilty play. I love watching guilty that movie. Yeah, yeah, no, for sure. Uh, I mean, sexy ass dudes. Ben Affleck looks. It's not even. Oh, yeah, in the shower scene, bro. That does in the that, shower scene when he's movie? working out. All right, I feel you. You're understand? Horny ass. He's so hot. back. Oh, he's working out. But anyways, <laughs> but just the whole movie from Ben Affleck's point of view, from Bruce yeah. Wayne's point of view, is really good. Especially in the scene. Sorry, Wes. <laughs> uh, the scene where um, Batman and Superman are at Lex's party. Mm. And they all meet each other for the first time and they sizing each other up. I'm not going to no party with uh, like, Jesse Eisenberg. Or, there. <laughs> but no party I, I really there. enjoy that scene. Yeah, no, it was a good I really enjoy really that was. scene. And just like Gal Gadot as Wonder Woman, like, you know, say what you want about her acting, but her stuff in Batman v Superman, it's kind of dope. Yeah. You know, Isn't that she's it. She rolling her eyes. 
He likes when uh, uh, Lex Luthor is going on a tangent about Greek mythology, and you know, Greek mythology. Yeah. <laughs> and like, I'm talking about my dad the, right now. So this nigga, why am I here? He's lying, lying. <laughs> yeah. Or just like the flirting between her and Bruce. It was so yeah. good. Yeah. Like I really enjoyed that movie. And okay. Wonder Woman's fucking theme song. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm, I got that uh, on my did, playlist. They did, they did. I love that. Yeah, uh, they did. They did. Hope they bring her back. They snapped. I they won't. I mean, I hope they bring Wonder Woman back. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, Wonder Woman. Not yes, I just hope. Well, yeah. They whoa, have a whole, whoa, 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 hold on. Not Gal Gadot. I'm talking about the whole. Yeah, her. I don't want her. What? Back. I don't want I'm her good. back either. We will talk about that later. Yeah, that's another. She. That's Moving a dead on. fish. And uh, to add on to that, Snyder Cut Justice League. I watched both. Oh, oh that, that, that's a guilty. phenomenal. Oh, well, that's, that's, some people don't know what it is. It's a guilty pleasure. That's because people are mad at Zack Snyder. Yeah. So they let the hate take over the art. Yeah, but both of those movies are in my rotation. Okay. Like when I talk about it, it's when I talk about both of those movies, it's discourse. Okay. Uh, RuPaul's Drag Race. Okay. I will, I will, I will, I will love to put you on RuPaul's Drag Race. Uh, Electra the movie. No, okay. So you talking yeah, about Jennifer Garner? Up right there. Yes. <laughs> Jesus. <Yeah. laughs> that funny as hell. I that, love that, that, that movie. DVD you bullshit. You funny ass nigga, dog. <laughs> I love that movie so much. That's hilarious. <laughs> dog. That first seat. Don't worry. Death's not that bad. Oh my God. I want to die. Get yeah. that shit the fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How do you. Oh, uh, no. I'm going to make you even matter. I die. Uh, when we get to my guilty pleasure, I only got one. Uh, Arrowverse. I love the Arrowverse. Oh, I love the Arrowverse. Depending on who it is, you know, I have to bug the somebody. First, the first few seasons of Arrow, Arrow? I love Perfect. Stephen Amell. If we're going to get, you know, the strike kind of fucked Fuck him up. Him. But with him Sometimes and, you just don't need to say nothing. If you're against something, just, just don't keep talk. Keep quiet. Yeah. Just keep quiet. The, the, you don't have to say nothing. Because I loved him as Green Arrow. I'm glad he opened his fucking mouth anyways. Um, I wanted to do more work things. I don't care. Day day off. Off. How do you, there, you there you go. Yep. That's there you what go. you get. Cut, cut your yep. water off. There you go. Yeah. That's what you get. Now you got to be out here. Yep. Well, well, we still got also. Grant Gustin. Y'all, y'all ain't making yeah, another I'm franchise. Quiet. Yeah, well, I don't think he'll ever speak up against things like that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But he seems like a he's normal guy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Power Rangers and Super Sentai. I talked about this. You guys, I love Power Rangers. You Super Hentai? I love Power Rangers. What's Super Hentai? I don't know regular Hentai. Sir, not Super Hentai. What did you say? Super Sentai. Super Sentai is a counter is the Japanese counterpart of Power Rangers. It's what all the not hentai with the S, you perv. Yeah. Uh it's what Power Rangers take their action scenes and costumes from in Japan. And uh, oh that. I yeah. know what that is. Yes. Yeah. Yes. That's that. good people. Okay, good. Yeah. Because yeah. I've been playing right. into and the, the French is 30 years old, made for kids. I still watch it. I love the movie that came out in Bro, I think everything is made what for is me. Back? Super <laughs> Right. Oh, there is a thing. Call uh, this episode. There is a thing called porn hentai. Yeah. What? I mean, hentai f- is porn. No, I mean, uh, super sentai porn. Oh, okay. Like, there's a oh, porn parody that comes out. Like, Real 34. Porn. I don't even like yeah. porn anime. Like, yeah, no. I mean, I don't oh. know. <laughs> there's a sentai, there's a sentai parody Why that comes out know? every year that, that, that's, that's based off porn. porn? Like, oh, like, like, oh. He got a horror around him. It's so done. <laughs> that would up. be funny as hell. Yeah, what you got? Straight people. Yeah. Sailor Moon, on top of that, I love, we know that. Yeah, but Sailor Moon is like just one of the best anime. Sailor Moon is, and like, I'm one of those people that are like Sailor Moon can kill Goku. Mm. She can just dis- don't you got this guy right next to you. Who? Lear the Huck. Oh. Uh-huh. <laughs> See, I'm even like a Sailor Goku Moon fan just- will end <laughs> Goku. Which Goku? We talk about Saiyan? Yeah, probably the Saiyan. Oh, nah. uh, here we go. Here we go. Now you gotta say uh, which one. Oh, no, we ain't even gonna get into this debate which- right now. All the versions. Truth. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. And then on the on the uh, music I tip. I can't wait okay. to get into that one. And the lastly, on the music tip, I like Pop Usher. I like Pop Usher too. Like, oh my God, a lot of people say that song was not I that good. I love Pop Usher. I like hearing that song. Yeah. Uh, yeah. DJ got us falling in love again. Oh, yeah. See, I love that. Pop Usher. People yeah. be like, we're oh. going to hear Pop Usher in a couple weeks. Yeah, I can I'm excited. Yeah. Oh my God, it's a pop song. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Wes, Wes, give me one good I'm pop saying song. it's not a good one. <laughs> what do you mean? Because I, I just want to know, like, your taste of pop, because I love pop music. What is your favorite pop yeah, song? Yeah, I just want to hear, like, know your taste. Nirvana. Wake me up when you go, go. Wake me up. <laughs> That's mine. Do you have a favorite go, go. pop singer? Oh. Yeah. Did, oh. That, 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 no, did, did we, I, we get what, I get what you're saying. Oh, yeah. we I get what you mean. You don't think weekend. about that. Me too. Weekend. Even though I pissed off the XO fans like that. That idol was trash. And that idol was I agree with trash. it. Huh? That ending. I started and went, eh, this ain't for me. Literally, you, I remember yeah. that's what we talked about. It was, my, yeah, it was the first yeah. episode she had come in her face. Yeah. I was like, oh, nice. I yeah. can deal with this. 
I have come on girls. If we do oh, yeah. if my oh, pleasure yeah. is very simple. It's one thing. Mike's looking at me right now. If he can guess what it is. Oh, he, rolling his eyes. Do you know what my guilty pleasure <laughs> is? Persia? Persia. I forgot I gotta call him Persia. Do you know what my guilty pleasure is? Boom, Veronica. Yo, oh Veronica is yo, my guilty pleasure. Yo, what is that? I would not be Veronica. Hold on. I would not be opposed to watching that. Let me explain what is Veronica. It? I'm sorry. Antonio. <laughs> Veronica is an anthology. Oh, shit. yes. Oh. Veronica is an anthology done by Glenn Danzig, the lead singer of The Misfits. What's an anthology? Uh, anthology, three movies in one. Okay. Um, and so the first movie is the lead actress is a porn star mm-hmm. in real life. And uh, Glenn Danzig was like, let's get her in here. Her acting has been killing it on the porn sets. And she plays a fake French person with big old titties. Mm-hmm. And instead of nipples, she has eyeballs for nipples. Oh, my God. And this guy sees her titties and is like, ugh, you're so disgusting. Well, he didn't say that. He didn't he, do this, that I'm, I'm saying what he kind of said, right? Yeah, so now she's on the couch, titties out, crying. Doing some tugging. And... So she's here. Yo, and then there's a, there's a, there's like a fucking coffee table over there with a rose on it that's higher than her right now, right? Mm-hmm. And on the rose is an albino spider. Her teddy starts crying, the tear drops, and it hits the albino spider over here, turning it into a serial killer that only comes out when she's asleep and kills hookers. That's the first movie. The neck break off. Let neck break out. Yes. <laughs> the second one is about a stripper who steals faces from people and strips in a rock star strip club. I thought that was the third. That was the That's the second one. And the third one is about a queen who steals and kills vergans and bathes in their blood. There's literally a scene where she's looking in the mirror mm-hmm. for 10 minutes. It's just her doing this. Wait, do that one more time? <laughs> That's, that fits with your outfit today. Hey, Vogan? Yeah. My nipples are hard. Category uh, is. <laughs> All right. Oh, my God. What yeah, the so fuck? Veronica. That sounds like Veronica. a creep show. It also, it was million dollar budget, and you have no idea where it went. How much is the budget? Million dollar. It went to Aaliyah Abid. It went to, That's what it it went went. to cocaine. Yeah. Probably. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There's a cafe scene. I'm not going to get into it because we got to wrap up. But the cafe scene, she walks in. I'm getting into it. She walks into the I'm cafe. I'm not going to get into it. We're going to talk about it. She walks into the cafe. She walks into the cafe. I pulled a Kanye yeah. just now. She walks into the cafe. There's already a coffee mug on the table. She sits down. The fucking waiter walks up. Missy. She just. Missy. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Messi, a woman like you should go home. The neck breaker is out. Oh, this is a good idea. Gets up, leaves money on the table, and leaves. Fucking sexist. Never fucking drank the coffee. It wasn't even fucking yours. What is, what is neck breaker? You got there. You Where's went for neck five minutes. From? The neck breaker is the dude that came from That's the titty. That's the albino spider. His name is neck breaker? The, the, the neck breaker. 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 They're French. I got it. Accent. No, I'm not doing that again. Oh, it's easy. Just no, give that up. Sounded, no, that sounded nope. I'm not no. doing that again. You'll be French. Just give up. Nope. <laughs> so like, <laughs> we'll talk off. So yeah. <laughs> all right. There's all right. a Veronica poster signed by Glenn Danzig in my uh, hallway Did you, over here. Is it like our house? That's nice. Uh, no. Like, what is the style? Uh, garbage. No. It doesn't. It's just, it doesn't have there a style. Scenes, it's no genre. No. It's, it's, it's just a there movie. are scenes where they should have ended, but they keep. They're just staying there, yeah, and it's just people just sitting there. I don't think anybody else cut or anything. <laughs> no, they just didn't know. <laughs> See, at least this got out. It was perfect. Like the room, so my that never pleasure. got out. Uh, we'll watch Veronica. Okay, As awesome. A group. Oh, any more Let's guilty pleasures? No. Uh, Selena no. Gomez. I was about to Anybody? say some dad. That's a guilty that yeah, is. yeah, I love her music. That is. Oh, music. Oh, music. Oh, music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I didn't know she made me up. Me. I love Selena I'm Gomez. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Uh, that's the weekend's chick. Chick. X chick. X chick. X. Okay. He wrote uh, my, no, that's Wizards my of Waverly dear Place. He wrote Re- Wizards of Waverly Place? No. That nigga a ding. No. First of all, what did you just say? Wizards of Waverly Place. Which is getting a reboot, by the way. Reboot. Reboot. Yes. Oh, no. Not really a reboot. It's a continuation. Continuation, yeah, it's like Raven's home. Oh, like Wizards of Waverly Place? <laughs> <laughs> Wizards of Waverly Place. I'm sorry, but the way y'all are saying this is fucking me up. I have what to. You're saying that. Wizards of Waverly Place? <laughs> Wizards of Waverly Place? Sounds like y'all Waverly saying it while going no, down a river. What the fuck is going on? But we got to wrap it up. Oh, yeah, we do got to wrap, wrap it up. We got to wrap it up. All right, so Nick, do your thing. Uh, see you, Space Cowboys, later. Yeah, you got to hit the stop. Keep that in.